We are about to steam bend one of the bench backs for the Tudor Arcade Seating Commission in Dorchester. Uh, you're about to witness uh, a couple of minutes of manicness and physical exertion trying to bend a piece of two inch oak uh, around this double ended jig. Um, hopefully all will go to plan but anything can go wrong on these things. If there's an invisible fault in the timber it can break or one of the jigs could come apart. Um, but hopefully everything will go to plan. Um, Right, Mike, are you ready? Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, you got it. Easy. It started with the idea of the love seat, which is where basically you're, you're sitting side to side with somebody who's kind of sitting facing the opposite direction. And there's a, there's a kind of long history of kind of love seats. So that's where it started. And then the idea of this kind of long kind of snaking bench with kind of quite abstracted kind of seats and people facing different directions. I mean, that, that's kind of where the idea sparked from, from the love seat idea. Um, and also it's kind of slightly thrown, like a lot of people who sit on my chairs, I mean, I, I design chairs to be really comfortable. Um, and there's a, there's a kind of grounding when you sit on a chair, which is, you know, with your, especially an armchair, where it just kind of feels right, where you kind of sit in it and it somehow makes you feel bigger because they're right, because they're comfortable and they're well designed. So we've done a bit of steam bending. Uh, the other key feature of this uh, Tudor Court Commission is the scorched oak, and it may seem counterintuitive, but I'm now going to burn this perfectly nice oak and turn it black, because uh, it creates a really beautiful finish. <laughs> There's a knack to scorching like everything else, it's uh, get it too close and it doesn't seem to work ironically. A couple of inches away and uh, it's, when you get it going perfectly it kind of flows in front of you which is really nice, it's almost like liquid. It's a really nice process. As well as kind of making it black it also weatherproofs the oak. So it means you don't have to add any unnatural chemicals to it. It just becomes black and it becomes its own timber treatment in a sense. So, um, so yeah, partly for contrast and partly for, uh, for resistance to weather over time. So it's a kind of perfect, perfect finish in a way. It's a little bit like scraping the burn off the toast in the morning. It's, um, it's a dirty job, it makes you feel more like a coal miner than a cabinet maker, but um, yeah, it's, uh, it's satisfying actually, it's a lovely, lovely job. It's kind of very instantaneous, which isn't something you really get from cabinet making very often, you know, normally it's kind of quite slow and laborious and you kind of get instant results from this, which is nice. But 
you do get quite dirty. And finally, we give it a second scorch because that really brings out the kind of the woody textures, all the soft materials burnt away, and you get that uh, you get that really kind of textural, kind of visceral feeling out of it, which is is really exciting as a as a woodworker. You know, it's lovely. And here we are, uh, the bench taking shape. Um, you can see the kind of lovely combination of the natural oak, and this is the the steam bent element that we did this morning, um, or a rail just like it, uh, and that in combination with uh, the really textured scorched oak, um, really looking beautiful and uh, really exciting actually. So uh, I'm really proud of it. It's really coming together nicely. You've got three sections out of eight here, um, so it's going to be much larger than this, although we just haven't got space to put any more of it together. Um, so I really hope uh, people in Dorchester and Dorset really enjoy it, um, and we're really looking forward to getting it in.